Hey everybody, welcome back. We're debugging. Uh, this time we're going to under we're going to do one called understanding the difference between the free code camp browser between the free code camp and browser console. So here's the browser console for free code camp. Um, yeah, I'm just going to read this one. You may have noticed that some free code camp JavaScript challenges include their own console. That's this guy right down here, right? Or at least this is the console readout. The console behaves a little differently than browser consoles you use in the last challenge. The following challenge is meant to highlight the main difference between free code camp console and your browser console. When you run ordinary JavaScript, the browser console will display console.log statements the exact number of times you request it. The free code camp console will print your console.log statements for each test of that challenge, as well as more time, as well as one more time for any function calls that you have in your code. This lends itself to some interesting behavior that might trip you up at the beginning. Because a logged value that you expect to see only once may print out many more times. If you would, sh would like to see your single output and not have to worry about running through the test cycles, you can use console.clear to clear the browser console. First, use console.clear to clear the browser console. After that, use console.log to log the output variable. Okay, so here we're just going to go console.clear. <coughs> to print out the output variable. This is the output variable. So we want to say, and it's just called output, console.log output. OK, so what happened here? If we take console.clear out by commenting it out, we get, get this to log once in the browser console and twice in the free code camp console. So if I press uh, Option, Command, I, this is the browser console. Oh, look, I got, hmm. Oh, this must have ran when I was in there. So get this to log once in the browser console and twice in the free code camp console. So in the browser console, we've got it running twice because there's a two there. And in the console, it's running once. So we want to add the console.clear there. And then, okay, we cleared the console of all that previous uh, nonsense. Uh, what do I mean by that? That means, um, oh, well, it didn't happen that time. Anyways. I'm just going to continue on with this. Uh, yeah, so I think we run the test and that passes. So the whole idea behind this is that if you just run console clear, if I press command shift I, um, and then you'll see this is all this sort of JavaScript console nonsense that's going on here. And that's why they want the clear in here. So if we add the clear to here, that gives us a console was cleared message and a single message here. So also, once again, it's command and then the option key and then I. And that'll open and close your JavaScript console in the browser. And then in free code camp, this is what they're talking about. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed that one. Uh, thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next lesson.